Hello, hello, hello everyone. Happy Saturday. Oh my goodness. It is Saturday morning. I hope you all are having a fantastic Saturday morning over here on the YouTube channel. I hope you guys are getting crafty and getting excited to be making all of your pro fall projects. How about our big reveal yesterday. We had two amazing videos go out yesterday. So if you have not went ahead and checked those out, be sure to head on over to the YouTube channel after this video and check out yesterday's large, amazing front porch reveal video. You guys know our live streams all week long. We're gearing up to the amazing front porch reveal. So you guys are going to love, love, love checking that out. And then second of all, we posted our video on how to make the best glitter ornament yesterday. And guys, it already has 300 likes, almost 2000 views, and it is killing the YouTube game. So I hope you guys check that out because you need to start getting ready for making your glitter ornaments. So that video is posted as well. Now today, guys, as you all know, on Thursdays um, this week, we are launching fonts. So today is Saturday. We spent Thursday, uh, Rachel made an amazing wreath. Um, so today we're able to showcase kind of what all the fonts are about for our Makers Gonna Learn members. Now, if you're not a member of makersgonnalearn.com, be sure to take advantage of today and get registered. Become your best value tier member and you'll save $48 being a annual best value member compared to a monthly member for a year. And you have to be an annual best value member to get access to all of the fonts. That is a yearly member only perk. Um, so I know a lot of our year members are tuning in. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday and we're excited to give you guys even more inspiration as we come to you every single day, sharing with you guys amazing ideas. Now, if you are brand new to the channel, I want you to share with me where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on and let us know so we can welcome you to the channel. Rachel. How is everyone doing? I wanted to give you plenty of time to get situated as I know we having a little errors. Oh, that's, listen, we're working <laughs> How is everyone doing on this fun Saturday morning? Everyone is doing great. Yay, hello. Chelsea said, hey, Chelsea. Hey, Chelsea. Above and beyond on Saturday live stream. <laughs> Michelle's talking about all the Hi, Michelle. before she found in Walmart. Ooh. Scared, new to Karen, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so excited since you are new to Cricut that you have found our YouTube channel and we are so excited you have found Makers Gonna Learn. So if you do not know what Makers Gonna Learn is, it is a one-stop shop where you can get inspiration, education, and motivation to master that Cricut machine of yours. It can be very overwhelming, but in our membership, we break it down step-by-step step from taking it out of the box to making your first project and then having the help from the team to get you guys making all the projects in the world with daily live streams and amazingness. Um, you get access to over 1200 plus cut files, over 200 plus fonts, our printable guides, which I am obsessed with. Love our printable Cricut guides. It's like Rachel and Tanner in your back pocket. And then you also get access to the commercial license if you're a yearly member. So, so many amazing things. I'm super excited. But yes, how are you guys doing? Share with us what else you've got going on. I cannot wait to walk you guys through all of these amazing projects. They are so awesome for this time of year, whether you're making things for your home, whether you're making some amazing projects, um, you know, for anniversary gifts. It is also Rachel's one year anniversary. Guys, so please. Happy anniversary several days this week. Oh, well, guys, so send her all the love in the comments right now. It is her one year anniversary. So I hope, Rachel, what are you going to be doing? Where Where's James taking you out to eat? I think we're going to go to Knoxville to Market Square and hang around there. Woohoo! That'll be great. And thank you so much for working on this anniversary day. We love it, but yes, so send her all the love, guys, and we're just really excited. These are Rachel's numbers, um, so Rachel will be able to explain all about what this is because it's such an amazing gift for somebody that um, you know is needing a quick wedding gift because this is so easy to make, so we'll talk about that. Um, if you guys have loved our series of Alexa, you know, tell different things. We have those. We have some amazing sets of things that I'm obsessed with. So these right here, you guys know, I love these plates um, and the different things. So these are from Hobby Lobby. Cannot wait to talk you guys through what fonts these are. 
And then over here, we kind of got Ray Dunn inspired and gave a totally different twist on some of these. And guys, let me just be the first to tell you, Ray Dunn is so hard to, first of all, find, and second of all, so expensive. So this right here, you're gonna be able to use our dingbats, our fonts to make some adorable candy bowls. Guys, this is so incredible. Um, and it's really, really awesome. So yes, be sure to check out all of the plates. We have some amazing set ideas. I love this little bowl that says pumpkin. Guys, I love it. Oh my gosh, is your mic not working, Rach? Oh no, oh no. Um, so there's lots of different ideas and projects. That was a close one um, that we're gonna be talking about today. So yay, it is super, super awesome. We cannot wait. Um, oh my gosh. Emily, wait, Emily lives in Knoxville. She knows where Market Square is. My Emily favorite does? place is Market Square, especially when they have ice skating. Ours oh. too. We, we tried to go like. Uh. Two years in two, a row. Yeah, two years in a row. It's okay though. <laughs> it's okay. It, I think it rained us out both times. It did. It probably did. Um, but yes. Oh my gosh. Davey says, I'm loving the sign with the big S. Oh my gosh. Yes. This is adorable. We love it. Love it. Love it. Um, this is so good. And we're going to be giving you guys individual videos for all of these projects, which is so amazing. So we're going to teach you how to take the font, how to sauce it out, how to design this. We're going to teach you how to make the whole set of things because these are so affordable and so worth it. So if you guys are excited, let's go ahead and jump into it. But before we do, I just want to give you guys a little disclaimer. If you are not already registered for the fall summit, they are going quick and you want to get registered today. It is happening in two weeks from today. So it's not the first weekend in October, it's the second week in October, the October 12th and 13th. It is such a fun event. This is one of our only virtual events we do. We have three a year. We have the spring, summer, and fall virtual summit. Um, so you definitely wanna take full advantage of that if you have not already. Get registered, use that coupon code. Rachel has dropped the link for you. So it is so, so good. So yay, woohoo, we love that. But all right guys, Rachel, where should we start with the projects? Uh, they're all great, Tara. Since it's your anniversary, okay. we'll start on this side and oh, I'll okay. start on this one. Okay. okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to pop it up on the second camera so everybody can get kind of a, a closer look. This is so adorable and I'm really excited because I love this font. This font is so good and this font is just one font. So this font right here. Well, there's two fonts in that one. Okay. So the numbers are one font and then the words are another one but it looks good together. Oh, it looks and so good. And one font that was in this new group of fonts that has gorgeous numbers is mm -hmm. called Lemon Drop. Lemon it's Drop is gorgeous. the numbers. And look, mm -hmm. I mean, guys, these are amazing numbers. You know how sometimes a font is not going to look great, but these numbers right here, I mean, I love that they, and these right here, Rachel, I feel like are clean enough and the edges are easy enough to, if you're doing something teeny tiny on a card or something huge like on this this board right here. Oh, I agree 100%. And it's yes. just, they're just beautiful numbers. I love that it, you know, cause I hate those crisp, harsh numbers that you see right. sometimes. These are a lot more dainty and a lot cuter. Yeah. And this is just a simple piece of wood. We stained it a couple times and then I chose to paint it over the stain because the stain just wasn't giving me the look that I wanted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I just painted it and then I saw inspiration for this on Pinterest. I love it. And it's, you know, for a couple, it'd be a great wedding gift anniversary mm -hmm. or, you know, wedding gift. And it's the day you met, the day you started dating, the day that you got engaged and your wedding date. And That's it's so just, adorable. It's so cute. And then you can leave some uh, space in between there and you can put your first child's birthday, Aww. your second child's so I mean, You can add to this whatever you'd like to do. It's a really cute gift though. I love that. I love that. It is so cool. Yes. So which font did you say this was? Okay, guys, for the numbers, it is Lemon Drop. So Lemon Drop is the font we've been raving about just recently about these numbers. Super, super awesome. And then you guys know we are obsessed with the font Spontaneous. So Spontaneous is right here um, that we used for the best days of our lives. So this is so good. We love this. Again, Lemon Drop for the font. Then we have Spontaneous 
this for the words down here and look at how amazing they look when you are able to kern them you're able to you know really you know bring those together and cut this out and again guys you know Rachel was talking about she painted the wood and then actually ironed on on top of that and look at how amazing it ended up being um, I iron on wood whenever we can oh I know like, I love to iron on wood I know it's, a, it's, it's, it's perfect so we love that and this is just a wood panel so it's not too too thick if you guys want we should probably do Rachel this is actually a really good video idea the next time that we are going to Michael's we need to do a shop with me video a live stream but we actually need to go take them in and show them all of our favorite things so like these would be a great thing to show them yeah because we always sure. get questions these are wood panels what I love about these wood panels they're thin they're super light they're able to have frames go around them you can build out frames um, instead of building out a frame today we used the jute to give a rustic look which is so awesome um, and again guys only our yearly members get our fonts so if you guys have not already got um, in our membership for this right here. You wanna go ahead and join today. Yearly and best value members get $48 being an annual or best value member instead of a monthly member. So this right here is jute. Yeah. So this is just jute, um, you know, it's wrapped and you're able to use hot glue to secure it. You know, the beginning and the end, it's very clean edges um, overall and it just looks so nice. Um, you guys are going to love being able to make this project. And guys, it's 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 pretty cheap. You know, oh, if you yeah. want to get a pack of oh this, you gosh. have some jute and this and that. You can slap this together and things like this mean a lot to newly wedded couples and things For like sure. that. You can tell a lot of love was put into this. Definitely. So we have Nicole saying, why iron on wood versus great, just vinyl? Great question. T fantastic question, Miss Nicole. What I want to say is we were talking about this in yesterday's live stream about you know using heat transfer vinyl on wood for the wreath that Rachel made. Rachel loves ironing on wood as do I but what you're going to realize as you use it and you have this smooth piece of wood this is so much more finished first of all so you're going to get a better finished look. Second of all vinyl on wood occasionally will peel up due to weather, due to different things. But when you have vinyl that is heat activated and it's able to really adhere to the wood, it is not going to come up unless you take something at 400 plus degrees and lay it on it and then it'll kind of swivel and can remove it. But for the most part, this right here is so finished, so nice. If you have not ironed on wood, I have a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic video on how to iron on wood check that video out. We have multiple resources on how to do that um, and it's fantastic. So if you guys are not in the membership, if you've not gotten a lot of those trainings and things, you want to go ahead and say yes to membership because you're going to get access to all of these things we're talking about um, and you're going to be able to really step up your game and crafting. Guys, and font projects are my favorite. I love the RSVGs. I love the cut files. I love to pull things from it, but like hands down, I love to work with fonts. I love totally. making my own things, I love seeing things on Pinterest or, you know, knowing inside jokes for my family and yeah. being able to, you know, bring those to life with the freedom of the alphabet with right. all the fonts. Right, right, right. So, yeah, this is a great one and we're super excited. Now, Rachel, how many people do we have hanging out with us on this Saturday morning? We have a hundred people hanging out Hi, with us. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. We are so excited to have you guys here on this Saturday morning. It is so, so fun um, and we are loving these projects. So, get excited. These will be rolling out as, um, you know, over the next few weeks, just, you know, hint here and there we've got so many launches happening so many amazing projects and amazing weeks I mean I'm super excited to see what other weeks we are going to be doing to style rooms and things like that but as always you all know we will have these amazing projects that you're able to pick and choose um, on what you want to master so next up I am so excited to have the training on this video um, right here we have this adorable project and it's talking about our our nest um, and you all know Rachel is bird obsessed so uh, this true. this was connecting very well with her um, but what we love about this now Rachel correct me if I'm wrong is this one of our requested files one of our new requested no, files so, or no, where, so where did we is, pick this one from this is older, older. it's actually it's got it's like a big tree yes and then it has a space where you like cut it out and then you put photos okay and i sliced it up in design space amazing to make it amazing. fit on the bottom there used again two it. different fonts and this was just like a like a wood canvas and yeah. courtney actually had the amazing idea uh, to cut a little like 
um, roof, a little roof, a roof and then out of chipboard. This, this is okay. Yeah, so this is a great thing. On the back here, guys, I just want to show you the back real quick. This is just chipboard we cut with the Cricut. So what we were able to do was, you know, measure, measure. We always love to measure twice, cut once. Um, we were able to measure this wood piece, and then we were able to cut, you know, a little triangle. And we did two layers. So we did the chipboard, and then we cut the cardstock to be the exact size. It's easy. Just so run easy. it through twice, and then you use the ATG gun. And put it together. This looks so finished, so profesh. Paint them edges, of course, um, and then you're able to just adhere it onto the wood piece. And then the fonts, because I know you guys will want to know, again, we used lemon drops for the numbers, and then we used open line. Open line. Write it down because what I love for the words, um, these right here, is open line for the fonts. So that's a really great one. You'll want to go over, check out that on the font area and download open line because that will be probably one of our new, like <laughs> really used. Um, so it's a lot of fun. It's really cute. And yes. Tanner, Emily's drinking her Starbucks too. Hey Emily, which is Jackson on Instagram. I saw a comment. I do remember you. Hello friend. Um, so yes, so super, super cool. We love that. We're going to have the training on how to slice and manipulate cut falls. One thing that I love about Makers Gonna Learn is that that, you know, people ask, can you manipulate the cut falls? Can you do this? Can you do that? Yes, you are so, it's so easy to be able to manip manipulate our cut files, work around them, customize them, do different things, and the fonts give even more um, freedom to it. So it is going to be so much fun. You are really going to love, love, love all of that, and it is going to be a lot of fun. So yay, we are super excited. Lori says, happy anniversary, Rachel. Thank you guys. So many of you have been commenting. I really I appreciate it. Yay, we love it. You guys are so nice. I took a screenshot of um, when everybody was congratulating Mary and she was super yes. grateful. So yay. Emily says, what a great way to start Saturday. Yes, Emily, thanks for hanging out with us today. We love it. All right, guys, moving right along. You all know I'm going to have to unplug my, my Alexa because she keeps thinking I'm talking to her. But anyway, <laughs> um, these right here are going to be so adorable. So let's go ahead. Here she goes, Rachel, thinking she's, she we're goes. talking to her. Just, just say Amy. Amy. <laughs> just say Amy. <laughs> we're going to have to have keywords. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, okay, I'm going to zoom in so we can really take a look at this. I love this. Now, the font right here is Flourish. So Flourish is so adorable. What I love about this is um, they have... A lot of fun. So you all know we've done these before. This is Alexa, bake me pumpkin pie and tell me I'm skinny, which I could use that. I love that. Three times a day. Love that. Um, it's adorable. And then um, at this point, my blood top is pumpkin spice. If you guys have been going to Starbucks, I would love to hear the input on the pumpkin uh, cold brew because apparently <gasps> this year. Is that year, a thing? Rachel, apparently this year the pumpkin cold brew has been beating sales compared to the no. pumpkin spice latte. No, uh Apparently so. You all know I love talking about pumpkin spice, but I've never had pumpkin spice coffee. I did order someone a pumpkin ice coffee the other day, and it looked very intriguing. Um, so that was interesting. So let us know what your favorite pumpkin thing is to make. Again, the font is Flourish, um, and these are so easy to use. When we make these, guys, what I want to share with you all is when we make these, um, you are going to love being able to use these on flower sacks because these are super affordable. You can get them in pack of 10 um, and it's really, really easy. Now, Emily says, how can I tell apart iron-on from other vinyl if I misplace the label? That's okay. a great that question. That is a fantastic question, Miss Emily. So, Emily, you are going to be able to look on the back of the vinyl, and traditionally, iron-on will have a clear backing, and on the back of vinyl, you are going to be able to see it's Oracle 651. It's Cricut Premium. It's Cricut reverse, uh, Removable. It will have a white backing with lines if it is vinyl. So it is so, so fun. Jenny does not like coffee, but a pump, a pumpkin spice in a chai tea is so yummy. Oh, I bet. <gasps> Renee, oh my gosh, went from monthly membership to yearly membership yesterday. Cannot wait to dive in and get crafting. And Renee, you are going to love this because with all these new fonts we're launching, it is such a great time for you to check out that font library, girl. Um, you're going to love, love, love that. 
And if you are a monthly member um, at this point, today is a great day to upgrade so you can get access to all those additional benefits. There's over $150 worth of just additional training you get complimentary, plus the unknown value behind the commercial license and the font library. I mean, it's so exclusive. We have not even added up what you'd have to pay for those things, but there, it's definitely worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars of value. So easy. we love it. Easy, easy, easy. So super awesome. Elaine says, well, I'm here. Hello, Elaine. Hello, Elaine. Um, we love that. Yeah. But yes, so, so much fun. Yeah, but these are really cute. And it takes it up a notch when you go through and you hunt down little dingbats. Like, oh, my gosh. Like that one is from... Um, from one of our first collections. The pumpkin pie is from one of the recent ones that... Um, oh, yeah. What does okay. it say? It's... Uh, the I forget. What is it? Fat and... Uh, Come feed me pumpkin pie and tell me I'm pretty. Uh, no, that's what I made. Yes, get your court. fat pants on. Get your fat Aww, pants ready. That's what this that. is from. Love that. Yes, but I just plucked that from there and plucked the little pumpkin. Yeah. But adding like little dingbats at the bottom just kind of mm -hmm. take them up a notch. You know, mm -hmm. like that would look pretty plain. Right, right, right. Without the but little with pop these little things, and you know you want to put these over your dishwasher, your oven, you know, little things like that, just so that you um, you get it. Okay, Courtney, since we have Courtney here in the house. Yeah, I was just we, about to ask. We are going to have to address something. First of all, somebody said, I want to see Court Court. Will you come in and say hi? Um, I think Linda said that earlier. Yeah. But, Courtney, we need to address something. I gave a little sneak peek away mm -hmm. of something. Hi. Oh, hi, Kusi. Hi. hi. Um, so, okay. Yes. I made a mistake on a video. It's okay. A while ago. Yes. I gave away something yes. a little too soon. I know what you're talking you about. You know what I'm talking about. And these people, our lovely members, yes. are nipping at the bud for these files. Yes. When are they going to get their steak cut files? On Thursday. 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 Look at this. Look at this, guys. Thursday. You are going to have... Now, are we giving them all the states? Yeah. Every state. Every Court, state. Courtney's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. That's what we need to no, do No, we're just giving them two states. Y'all can do it out. <laughs> Tennessee One and California. Per month. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, so for everyone asking, this is the official Makers Gonna Learn statement. Yes. You will have your state files this Thursday. And I'm never giving you guys another sneak peek like mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. because all I see in the Facebook group, do we have state files? Where's the state files? I think I saw some sometimes. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> Taylor said we get them. <laughs> I love it, guys. You all know that's why Rachel doesn't let me do stuff like that. I mean, <laughs> it bots me in the butt every time. <sighs> so, I don't even think I've shown you what's coming out the one month from Thursday because you would probably show them, and it's so good. And this is a little hint. <gasps> little goosey. Hi, goosey. It's all it is is goosey's tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Gus, you want here, let's give Gus just a little bit more moments. Say hi, Goosey. Sherry said, good to see you again, Courtney. Nice to see you guys too. Yay! Guys, Courtney's summit classes, girl. They're really cute. I think we all have just brought new levels to the summit this year. I mean, if you sure. have attended past summits, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised to see the finished quality mm -hmm. of all of these projects. Courtney's teaching some bomb projects. Yeah. And what I love is that we all are kind of kind of on a vibe so that, you know, you can take that vibe and run with it like we are this year, or you can kind of switch it for whatever patterns you're wanting and things like that. Mm -hmm. But all of the classes are so good. So if you're not registered, there is a coupon code flash 35 so that you're able to save $35 on summit registration exclusively. Um, so be sure to take advantage of that coupon code. Linda knows I can't keep a secret. No, I can't. <laughs> and I don't know if it's just because it's the time of year or what, but I think the fall summit this year, I think we're all so ready for Christmas. Oh, that yeah. That it's like our Christmas spirit's been flowing, and oh. we just gave, we always give 100%, but yeah. it's like we gave 110 for Definitely, and I think the fall summit, and we talk about this season a lot here, is that, you know, there's deadlines, there's things that you have got to make, and what I love about, you know, I've looked at the fall agenda, we have almost everything you need from being able to create some really finished DIY decor to being able to make some really awesome stock. Gift ideas. To make gift ideas. Cards. We have 
car. We have like a card. I wanted a class, guys. This was a request for me to Crystal. Sometimes I challenge the team and I called Crystal and I said, Crystal, we need to be able to teach them how to make bulk Christmas cards. But mass production. Mass production cards, things that you're they're gonna be able to easily use the cricket for yes. and mass produce with makers gonna learn. And that is what she's brought to yeah. the table. And let me tell you guys, she uses so every single piece of oh, yeah. cardstock that she cuts in these yeah. cards. Like yeah. she doesn't Not, waste no anything. waste. You all see me wasting stuff all the time. No waste from Crystal, <laughs> which we love. So get registered for the summit. You're gonna love that. We have um Hedgehog Hollow teaching an amazing class on the table runner we have carly hall going above and be freaking beyond on making some new techniques for her thanksgiving table spread that you're going to be able to use all year around and it's just literally i love it so linda says see you can't keep a secret <laughs> guys i'm sorry linda, i'm sorry point taken <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, next up on our project agenda, Court, thank you bye so much guys. for your official statement. And bye, Court. Okay, love you all. Now, um, if anybody, now if they don't come, we can blame Court. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Go stalk her down. Oh my They're gosh. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I want something that says, and things like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hip hip hooray. Uh, oh my gosh, Jenny, you can't attend the summit live. It's my busy season at work and lots of OT. What's overtime? overtime. <laughs> I, it's like, what's overtime? Yes, well, it's so good. Emily says, can you teach how to make SVG? Emily, stay tuned. We have some exclusive trainings coming out for that. Um, it's a very complicated process, but not too complicated. So anyway, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned. I know you've been asking quite a bit, or a lot of people have. Um, but okay, next up, you all know I'm obsessed with black and white plaid. I'm using this pattern for fall, Thanksgiving, Christmas. I'm, I'm making it work all across the board. This right here is a great example of how you can use this. And you all know we're going to, after this season, strip down the vinyl and we're gonna put something Christmassy on yes, it. Yes, that's why we did not seal it because I know those comments are gonna pour in too. What do you seal this it? Is why not, do you seal it? I do not make coffee in this and I'm not eating my cookies off this plate. No. This is purely looks in the home. Decorative. Decorative looks. Yeah. I, this is in the corner of my kitchen. It's gonna be looking really good. Um, so this is not something that I use because then, you know, Christmas is gonna come and I'm gonna put some type of Christmas cookie play and Santa's milk. So that is a great question we have people asking about all the time. These are things that I'm not necessarily going to be using. We have videos on how to make your mugs permanent and how to do, you know, different things, but these right here are not necessarily for that. Um, so these are so good. Now the font for this is um, thick. Is the font just called That's thick? That's it, yep, thick. thick. Okay, let's show them the second camera real quick just so you all can really take a look at these because um, I love, love, love this font. Um, is it for is the font the same for both? Yeah. So they look a little. Did we? You know why, Tanner? I, on me. the plate, I unlocked it and stretched it. Wow! And it it kind of creates it up two. A yeah, it creates two totally different fonts, which I'm obsessed with, um, which is really cool. Yeah. So would you say this is the look of the, just the more traditional font? Absolutely. Oh yeah. my gosh! So it <laughs> compared to this one, it makes it look thin. We I should know. we should have this one called thin and this one called thick. I okay, love it. I'm, I'm, it's Saturday, guys. I apologize, I so. um, but I love these. They're so adorable. Yeah. Um, I agree. So it's so so. And and there's good. something I want to talk about. It's good that we're on the second camera. Yeah. On the towels down there, Tanner. Oh my gosh. I you you see like how the fonts look different, like the word Alexa up yeah. there. Oh, excuse me. I just said it. Oh no. It's okay. It's Looks okay. different than the rest of the words. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is all one font, guys, but wow. lowercase and uppercase look different. Oh. Okay. This is one font that I know of that looks like this, and I'm blown yeah. away with it. I if love it's it. all caps, you see the Amy, I'll say. You see Amy <laughs> up there, and it has like little wispies on the end, and it's, right. it's totally different. And then the rest of the words are all lowercase, quote unquote. Yes. But it, it's like two fonts in one, and it's so, yes. so cool. I love that. Oh my gosh. Well, Rachel, how many people do we still have hanging out with us? We have 105 people love hanging it. out with us. We love it, love it, love it. Well, guys, this next thing is I am so excited to talk about. Um, as you all know, Ray Dunn is hugely inspiring, and we're seeing that trend continue on in, into this year, which is great. But it's a little, it's a little pricey, potentially. Um, I mean, it's not overpriced. It's just pricey, and it's hard to find a whole sets of things. So why don't we eliminate that struggle and have a DIY afternoon? So what we were able to do was me and Rachel was at Walmart because we want to make this very easy for you guys to recreate. Better Homes and Garden, I do have to say, is probably one of the best lines of products at 
Walmart um, when it comes to bedding, when it comes to furniture. And it's all very affordable. It's very affordable. So what we went and we were able to do, this big old dish is so quality. Um, it's very heavy, but um, it's a 12 inch dish. It is the pasta serving bowl. We're using it for candy, obviously. And all it needs is the vinyl, and it's gonna be able to be great for candy. But we also were, was able, if you wanna go to the same camera, I guess sure. I'll start, I'll zoom out. And we got a dingbat for each one of these. Of course, in the video, we'll go, go through all yes, of them. Yes, we're gonna make all but, of these to teach you all how to make your set. Yeah, and Tanner, what's the font? People are already wanting to do. Oh my gosh, this font right here is Albuquerque. So right here, it is Albuquerque. Um, it, I love it. It is a great, I prefer this font right here over the traditional Ray Dunn look. I don't know why, but I agree. I'm, I'm really, really digging it. And what I love is that like you have a coordinating play. So this is again in the Better Homes and Garden line. So you're able to get truly that same effect and feel of a Ray Dunn set by just sticking with, you know, the same type of dishware, um, you know, from Target, Walmart, anything like that. And they're so much more affordable, which we love. And then we got this smaller um, bowl this is the wavy bowl white. So we've got wavy bowl white, pasta dish, and then this one right here is the um, I think dinner plate. that they're named. What in the world? Yeah, I know, I know. It's but I like that they're kind of oblong. It, it's like those Crate and Barrel ones. Yes, You know how they're they kind of a little mm -hmm, bit imperfect. Mm -hmm. And you guys know I love Crate and Barrel for one thing in my home that I did Crate and Barrel was my dishware set because you know you want to you want to spend good money if you're going to have these dishes forever. But um, you know I don't want to spend necessarily Crate and Barrel prices on a set of something like this that I'll keep and you know wrap up and use again next year. Um, so this is a great alternative. Again, you know Target has other you know relative sets like this um, and things like that. So it is so good. Linda says wrapped candy only for sure. This is vinyl, so you know we're not eating off of it or anything like that. Definitely a lot more fun, um, you know, to be able to, again, you can strip this vinyl down. You're not using that much vinyl if you, you know, want to reuse these for other holidays. If you don't have storage space, great idea. Um, but overall, we're going to teach you all, all about the Dean Bats and then pairing the Dean Bat with the font and then being able to apply vinyl on some curved surfaces. We'll be have a great training for that um, and master all of those things. So we're really excited to, you know, have that idea and inspiration for you all that need to have, you know, a little bit additional training. Tanner, which one's your favorite? <gasps> Ooh, pumpkin. You think pumpkin's your favorite? I love bat for some reason. <sighs> okay, I don't even so, know why. So bat's your first pick. What's your second pick? Which? Oh, it's so funny. I think my second pick would be candy. <laughs> well, then we just kind of I love them all, and I yeah. love them all together. I truly, truly do, um, and it's so good. Nicole says, what's your go-to vinyl? Nicole, you know, if you asked me this a few months ago, it would have been different, but I love Oracle 651 today because of two things. The quality, first of all, if you've never used Oracle 651, grab it from 651 Vinyl over at Troy. He'll have it to you, like, probably tomorrow. Literally. Um, second of all, literally. Li yeah, literally. <laughs> his shipping is crazy. Um, second of all, you will also be able to see a color selection. I am someone that comes from 100% Cricut ecosystem. Um, one for personal choice. Second of all, had an amazing partnership with Cricut, um, you know, when the maker launched. So it was obviously um, Cricut just all, all across the board. I never thought to experiment with other brands. And we liked Cricut. I love for, Cricut. For like, well, yeah. I stand for Cricut. Right. Um, but, but I had no idea that there may be better quality other places. Um, I never had a problem. So like when you, when you see like, like when you, when you actually leave, you know, what you're comfortable with to test others, you make and find better. So it was a little close mindedness on my part. It was a little, um, you know, a partnership. Obviously you want it to stick true. But well, let me tell you guys. When we found Oracle there 651, is a there's a huge difference. Um, quality, in that. colors. Quality, the colors. We don't have to burnish as hard to work with the vinyl. That's it true. It weeds That's beautifully. Um, so, yeah. So, I love Oracle 651, and I don't want you to just take my opinion. I really would love for you guys to order one sheet. Like, one sheet is not that expensive. Test it out, do a test cut. I think you can even get it at Michael's. So, feel free to grab just like one sheet there. I'm not asking you. You can get Oracle 651. 
he's one of yeah. Michael's? Yeah. That's in, awesome. In a few single color sheets, I believe. I'll have to double, triple check for you, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can. Okay, Courtney, Courtney says you can, so if Court says it, I'm going with it. It's um, true, Van. It's really good. So, yeah, we love that. Um, and, you know, I've never had any problems with Cricut vinyl as a whole, but their color selection is a little bit more slim, and it's a little bit harder to work with. So, anyway. That's, that's and Lisa, yes, it's from Troy, but you can do 651vinyl.com. Yeah, 651vinyl.com is great. I think we have a link in the description now for the pin pin tool. You can use that link for just our affiliate in general. Um, and then after you get to the pin pin page, you can order whatever you want. So yeah, we love that. We love, love, love that. But okay, guys, last but not least, we have this adorable sign, which is so good. It is glass. It is very beautiful. Um, what I kind of want to do with this, Rachel, do they have glass cutting boards? Uh, no. No. I'm no. going to say no. I'm going to say no. Okay, so I was thinking about um, if we did, you know, something like a cutting board and putting this on the bottom. You so could do not... a wood. Wood would be beautiful. Well, yeah, but you, you know, want to still use it. So anyway, this is an adorable glass sign. So we just put vinyl on it. You know, the alcohol really comes in handy on projects like this to be able to apply the um, vinyl down really well um, and have a lot of fun with that. Yeah, and it's it was just a photo frame. Yeah. I think it's so 14 easy. by 16, and we yes. just took some uh, colored paper this like yeah. pretty olive colored paper and we popped it on there we love uh, it. with white vinyl I mean that's easy. it easy yeah three three step three step process cut apply yeah it's glass add, Linda add it. yes it is glass it is so good and the font for this one is split monogram and then community for the words so the split monogram is something you guys you will have to check out the video to learn all about how to work with the split monogram there's so much fun um, and it's going to be um, a lot, a lot of fun. So be sure to check that out. Grab your membership today so you can get access to this. Again, yearly members only get access to all the fonts um, and you get that as a free gift for our annual membership. What we love about our annual membership, guys, is that you get in at our lowest price available for the most amount of perks. So it's a hands down amazing thing. You guys commit to us, we commit to you with a ton of value and it's a lot of fun. So yay, it's a lot of fun and we cannot wait to share with you all of these amazing sets of projects i think you know we're really focusing on pushing out some amazing quality videos and projects and it is just so much fun so we cannot wait to continue to get crafty with you guys um, let us know what questions you have that we can answer again if there's any brand new friends that are brand new to the channel popping in hang um, announce with us share with us in a comment uh, who you are and that you're new so we can welcome you to the crafty community uh, we're super excited for that so yay and tanner apparently there are glass cutting boards well what i was thinking was if you could put the vinyl underneath. like mirror it and yeah. underneath you, there would be it would be a really cool idea so, i just never yes. thought there would be i feel like i'd shatter it when i was cutting on it i know way. So yay, we love it. Yes, boxes have are in the process of being shipped, guys. So I know a lot of you have got your box, got notifications you're getting your box or waiting for your box. They have been shipped and we will be getting those tracking numbers. So give us a few days and if for some reason you do not have your box, you will be able to email us and we'll get you exact tracking for that, which is so awesome, yay. Sarah Lee was at Dollywood on Friday. Rachel was Almost this close went. to going. I was so close, Sarah. We could have been there at the same time. You could have had a Makers Gonna Learn meet up. We could have had a little meetup. <laughs> yeah, I almost went I yesterday. It. it was it. so hot, guys. Yes. Oh my gosh. I hope you stayed cool. I know. So, so awesome. So it's going to be a lot of fun and we cannot wait to see all of these uh, projects. Oh, oh my gosh. Aw. Terry says, I have so many Makers and Learn cut files and fonts would have cost at least triple of what I paid for my yearly membership. What a testimony, Terry. We need to get, we need to come to your craft room. We need to hang out. We need to film a testimony. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to go on tour and interview all of the members that would love that um, for me to come interview them. Uh, we loved Dollywood when we went. Guys, Yes, we I, get it was season like a, passes Yeah, a it was like a company. Did we all get them at the same time last year? I forget. Yeah, we, we all yeah. piled up. That was Courtney's Christmas gift to me was a gold season pass to Dollywood, which is that's insane. Hilarious. Free parking and all the perks. Oh, so. yeah. And that's and Courtney, let me tell you, everybody wants me to go with them because I get free parking. And they're like, do you want to go with us <laughs> to Dollywood? They just want your gold pass, they, Rachel. Like, they, they just, just want, want your gold me pass. for my gold. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a lot of fun. When I'm though. there, everybody's like, "Can I? I need, I need you. I need you. And I'm like, why? 
I'm like, and now I'm, I'm buying stricter. a water. They want to look at your face now. You can't just pop up when they're like, who is the card holder? And then like Tanner will have to like wave his hand to the dude. <laughs> and he's like, okay, I'll give you Somebody called me fat. Were you with me the time uh, that somebody Tanner, called let, me fat? Tanner, you should have blocked that out. Rachel, that old man called me fat. We were pulling in to, to park and Tanner gave the dude, he was in the driver's seat, Tanner gave the dude his goal pass and he's, what did he say? Looks like you gained a couple pounds since your picture was taken and just handed it back to Tanner like he says that to everybody. And Tanner, Tanner was shook until we got in the park. And even then, he was still like, what did that dude just say to me? It was just so out of the blue. Tanner, that was really that, The mean. picture was less than six months. I mean, I had maybe gained 10, 15, Listen, 20 Tanner, pounds. it is not your it's fault. so freaking. I've <laughs> lost all that weight now. But yes. Ooh, Elaine says she canceled her Cricket Access membership. That's a, what a testimony. What a bold We, we do Love have it. an ecosystem here. So a lot of people find that they're not using Cricket Access as much because we have such curated cut files and then we have curated education and motivation to get you guys to use that and recreate those projects. So a lot of people in Makers Gonna Learn really find so much value. And with all the launches we have, guys, we are really scaling up to give you guys even more quality um, because as our membership grows, you know, we have more resources to be able to devote and reinvest back into you guys. So we have over 3,000 amazing members. We are so grateful to serve all of you. And being a member is the number one way to support everything we do here um, at Makers Gonna Learn. And we're just working really hard on bringing amazing things like our front porch. I wanna thank Rachel for working so hard on that. Courtney you guys worked it. just as hard. Everyone, it was, awesome. it was a team, team effort. I'm so glad Hadi is um, enjoying my story time. Um, Karen says I signed up for the monthly Makers Gonna Learn box this morning. Yay! Will it start with the September or October box? So it is. We'll start with the October box. Anything after the tenth of the month, you will get the following month's box. Great question, and we're so excited that you grabbed it. Absolutely. Yay! And I, I don't think I mentioned this a lot. I know that Cricut has a, like Cricut Access has a butt ton of cut files. That's true. But That's here's true. the thing, when you are on like a smaller, more intimate membership like us, you see the cut files coming out, you look at them, and then you see the fonts, you You're actually look at able to work with them. You're able to work with them. When yeah, you have, how, ma how many do you think Cricut Access they, has? They market that they have 70,000. How it's are you, how are you gonna go through life and go to a store and say, oh my gosh, I love that plate. And do you know what that plate would look great with? The lemon drop font and yeah. the witch yeah. hat dingbat. And like, we have the printables. Think about so that. we have the printables that you're able to, you know, visualize what cut files you have access to for when you're not on your computer. So yes. when you become a member, you can print out or download a digital book with all of your cut files you have access to, as well as your fonts. Um, so that gives you a little bit more, you know, value. And if you're a yearly member, you can actually show those books to your clients. Clients, so you can easily organize what fonts they can choose from, take a quick note, and with your commercial license, legally be able to make money from the artwork, which is super, How super awesome important. Um, and we do love it. And again, guys, one thing that is totally different with a membership, I want to leave, you know, if I ever have to leave a membership, I want to leave the membership feeling like I got my money's worth. Um, Cricket Access, Spotify, or not, not necessarily Spotify, um, uh, Cricket Access or Netflix is kind of the same as Netflix. So as soon as you stop paying for Netflix, you lose access to watch your shows. Same with Cricket Access. As soon as you cancel Cricket Access, you lose those art files, um, access to the art files um, or the art files in general. With our membership, you get to keep whatever you've downloaded, which is super valuable. And that way you get to leave knowing, hey, you know, you paid us a fee, but not only did you enjoy everything, you were able to keep something like obtainable and of value. So that's super important too. Um, um, but again, I think while we're so successful from you know my standpoint is that it's a community. We're able to craft, we're able to hang out, we're able to answer questions, and you know we're here almost every single day for um, an hour, which is kind of like open office hours. This is like one idea of it. Um, so you're able to get the support you need. Elaine says, one day I hope you give us writing fonts. Elaine, we would love to give you writing fonts, um, but we do not have the software capabilities. Only Cricut has that. They kind of keep that API like locked down for only them. I've talked to so many um, designers. So if you ever see a designer that's not in like the Cricut Access program making fonts, let me know so I can figure out how to do that too. But as of now, we're not able to do that. So. It's sad not any other companies are able to do that.
but oh yay <laughs> Jenny says I had so many posts of the things I want to make with each release I love it yeah, yeah. I love and the releases help a lot mm. I think I mean mm -hmm. think of the impracticality it is to try and go through 70,000 cut files to find the one oh that it you is need. insane it so is so insane yay. when you have scheduled releases and then with all the releases, we give you videos like this to show right. you things that you can make to exactly. inspire you with each collection, each launch. Yes. I just think that it's so a, a it's much so better much way about it. It is so much fun. Yeah. But guys, I hope you all have a fantastic Saturday. It's been so much fun hanging out, answer questions, sharing crafty ideas. I hope you're getting crafty with a project from this past week. If you're not, make some time for you so you can go get crafty. And we hope you have a fantastic weekend. I will talk to you all real soon. Okay, friends, bye.